what is going on everyone welcome back to the channel tech for you tech that matters in today's video i will be doing a tutorial over kind master now if you guys are new to youtube and you want to start your youtube channel this is the software that i would recommend you guys to use now this is something that i use every single day when i edit my videos before i actually publish them onto youtube so without further ado, let's jump right into the video. So welcome back to the channel. So this is Kind Master. Now you can pick this up on the Google Play Store. Now you do have a free version to Kind Master, but if you wanna get rid of the watermark, you would have to pay the pro version, which unlocks a lot of more features things that would actually benefit you uh, for your YouTube videos but if you're if you're okay with the free version that's fine no big deal so once you open up kind master the first thing you want to do is go directly into your settings now the reason for this is because by default there are some settings that's already been applied to kind master but if you record say with your phone or with your camera the frames per second are going to be different from the actual application of Kind Master with their frames per second. So in order to get here, go into your settings and you want to look where it says record video location, frames capture location. So uh, you always want to make sure at first uh, the Kind Master is always saved in Kind Master folder. Now, if you want to switch it to another folder to, uh, you know, place it somewhere else, that's fine. But I would prefer to keep it in a Kind Master folder so that way it's easier to locate. So once you go ahead and you find out which folder you want to apply that to, go ahead and make those changes. Now, as far as the um, advanced and experimental um, settings, I'm not sure if this does work in the free version or not, but again, I have the paid version. Now, on Kind Master, I have mine set to where it says allow export frame rate up to 60 frames per second. Now, by default, it's set for 30, but if you want to go ahead and enable this, you can do so. Um, again, as far as the frame per second, it's entirely up to you how you record, what you record with, depending on the frames per second that you use. If you want to go to a higher frames per second, you can enable this. But usually I would recommend the 30 frames per second. So I'm going to go ahead and go back out of here. And then I'm going to locate here. Give me one second go back out of the settings so by default it's going to be set to 30 frames per second so go ahead and start kind master here you're going to get three options of the aspect ratio 16.9 9 by 16 or 1 by 1 now i would really recommend 16 by 9 that way if you're recording the video you can get the full ratio of the video you're going to be editing now here is your do i'm sorry redo undo and this is going to be an option for your sharing your settings this is going to be part of your timeline so if you want to um, have a different aspect of looking at your timeline when you're recording your videos you can do so this is going to be your play button here is your media where all your content is going to be stored onto your device. So whatever you have downloaded onto your device, this is going to be applied in this folder. So each time you want to add in something into your video, um, depending on if it's going to be your intro or it's going to be your outro, this is where you would go. So I'm going to do an example. I'm going to go ahead and click this here. Hit the check mark. And then here is your options that are now highlighted. And so if you click here, this is going to be, like I said, a different aspect on your timeline visual. And uh, you can hit this for the rewind and play. So once you have your media ready to go in your timeline, 
you can go ahead and move it like so. Now, if you want to cut a portion of this video out, all you got to do is just highlight on this uh, video here. And then with your arrow, just go ahead and kind of drag it down to the point where whatever sections you want to cut out of your video, you can do so. So like, for example, if you want your video to show this, just hit the check mark. If you want your video to present it as like so, you hit the play button. And this is how it would actually look in the beginning of your video since you edited that section out. Now let's pause this for example. If you want to add a layer to the video, like if you want to add a text, you hit the layer feature button here, you will go to text, and then you will just say, or you will just type in, welcome to my channel. And then you can hit OK. And then right here is going to be displayed you can actually drag this down anywhere you want onto the screen inside your video so you, i'm going to go ahead and place it here and then you can add like colors or you can add like fonts things like that so i'm going to go ahead and do like a darker color other than white hit okay and then you can add in you know if you want to add animation you can add pop slide to the right slide to the left and so on and so on so I'm gonna go ahead and just do pop then I'm gonna go back and go out into out animation and I'm gonna go into fade and then you hit the check mark and so with the text if you highlight it you can actually shorten it up a little bit so it can actually go with the full length of the video then you'll hit the check mark and then if you want to watch it from the beginning to see what it would look like once the video is played like you see here, you're gonna see the text popping up in three, two, one, right there. So KindMaster has a lot of great features to use, um, especially when you're using the paid uh, version of KindMaster, because like usually right here in the free version, you'll get a watermark right here with a trash can, and it will say, you know, KindMaster. Now, if you want to make really professional videos, I would highly recommend to, to spend the $5 a month so that you can have more access to more features when it comes into KindMaster. If you go back in the layer, you can add special effects. So let's just say, for example, right here where it says, welcome to my channel. Uh, let's just say you have another video and you're showing information that you don't want to others to see. You can go to basic effects and you can just do blur. And once that blur is selected, you can actually just click here. Oh, I'm sorry, you have to hit the check mark first. See this little box right here? You can either rotate it left or right or however direction you want to go in. And then if you go here, you can actually shrink this down. So if you want to hide like, you know, uh, personal information that you don't want others to see and you didn't realize it was in the video. So you want to go ahead and just kind of max it down so where it could blend in with the video. You can do that down here. You can also shrink the time of length that is actually being shown. So if you want to go ahead and cut it out completely, you can. Or if you want to have like maybe a millisecond to be shown on your video. Or if you want to expand it for even like the whole entire video, you can do this. And once you get done doing so, if you want to add an animation to this, you can here. Just like I showed you earlier. And then you can also do an animation out like I also showed you. So you can go ahead and add this. You know, if you want to basically have this blur effect throughout your entire video, you can do so. Or if you decide, oh, I don't want it anymore, you can just highlight it and go to the trash can right here and it would just completely take it off the video. So if you go back into layer, you have overlay, you've got text, you've got handwriting. So you can use this with inside your video. Or if you want to add an outro, you can go back into media, into your downloaded folder, and then you can go ahead and say you want to do um, this right here. This is my personal outro that I use for my YouTube videos. So this is pretty much what it would look like. So if you're making your video, you're done editing, you added what you wanted to add. Here is where you can add a transition effect. Now, this is my personal transition effect that I use in my videos. Now, I don't use all of them, 
but there are some free ones that are already built into Kind Master. So you have classic transitions, 3D transitions, and there are times when I do use the free version transition. So sometimes I do use this effect, and what I'm going to do is go back to the beginning, and I'm going to hit the play button so you can see the transition effect right here, right when it's about to go into my outro video. So let me go ahead and play so you guys can see this. So this is the intro that you made. And the text will be coming up in 3, 2, 1. And then a transition effect. And that's pretty much what you'll be working with when it comes to editing your videos. Now, you do have the option here to record your own voice. So if you're wanting to implement a video that's already been pre-recorded, you can go ahead and like, let's say, for example, let's delete this. Let's delete this. And let's just say, for an example, that this right here is the video that you took in the background. Like, say you took a video uh, outside and you're doing a review on uh, a phone. And so what you want to do is always make sure that you highlight this section here and you go into your audio and you want to lower the audio all the way down now the only reason why i say this is because if there is a lot of background noise when recording audio so if you don't have a mic set up or you know you're using the audio from the phone that's fine and dandy but you have to take for granted that you're going to have a lot of distraction with background noise outside but it really all depends on what kind of video you're doing it really all depends if you want to keep the audio in there but if you want to make it professional this is the way to go and what you can do here is if you hit the play button you notice you don't hear any audio so if you wanted to add your own recordings you can go here and just hit the start button and as you can see here this line is moving because I'm already using my mic and now I'm not using it within kind master I, I have the Alvox con a 700 mic that I use for my recordings with my USB connection to my laptop so this is where the audio is coming from that you hear now so once you go ahead and determine what you want to do is hit that X this is the pro version that I am using right now and um, I would highly recommend purchasing the 499 pro version every month so that way you don't have the watermark here and you can make your videos look more professional and you can add different special effects you can add more audio or more themes things in that matter and it's really and it's really important that you do that is because if you're trying to grow your YouTube channel and you want to make your videos look professional as humanly possible this is the best way to go so I'm going to go ahead and go back out of here and I'm actually going to delete this because I don't want to make any changes to my content that I already have priorly installed into Kai Master because this is what I use every day to make my videos. So uh, you do have an option to export it to YouTube. Um, once it's exported to YouTube, you can go ahead and go into the browser of YouTube itself and um, it would actually uh, here. I'll show you. So once you export it to YouTube, you don't have to worry about going into your actual uh, YouTube page and going here to create a new post to upload your video. It's automatically going to be exported to YouTube. So you want to always make sure that if, when you go into Creator Studio, you always want to make sure that your videos are set to private because if you export it from Kind Master to YouTube, it's going to be published and you're not going to be able to get it monetized in time. You're not, you're not going to be able to have the titles, things in that matter. And so you always want to make sure that you always set to private before you export it onto YouTube. But uh, other than that, guys, that is roughly it. That's how you pretty much get the tutorial of using Kind Master. Um, I, I apologize that I didn't go any uh, more depth into details when using Kind Master. You know, it's just a basic tutorial just to get you guys started. So overall, I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit that like button. Do not forget to subscribe at tech for You Tech That Matters. But until then, I will catch you all on the next video. Peace.